What is going on guys, it's your boy Thermic here, and I'm bringing you guys a video finally after a month. Sorry for my absence. Um, I honestly had no motivation to make any videos. Just a lot of stuff went down. I'll explain all that stuff in a later video. I got motivation finally because I watched Nate Shot's video, uh, his day in the life motivation in LA. And, you know, I was thinking... It does take a lot of hard work, even though I work a lot, and it's hard to get videos. But at least I should just keep trying my best. So I got a lot of motivation from that. So I'm going to take you guys on a day in the life. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now, 11 o'clock or some shit like that. Just woke up. Uh, I got to do something about my beard and my hair. got to comb it down or something. And uh, we got to go over to the pet store. Uh, they have some reptile thing going on. So I get to bring some reptiles. And I got some other stuff to show you. So let's jump right into it. Alright, we're going to walk out of my room because I got a surprise. Dun, dun, dun. I'm leaving the room. More snake cages. What you guys are probably thinking is, where the hell did you get the money? Uh, actually, no. These are not my snakes. Um, you can see that right there. Uh, it's supposed to be a yellowish tint. I'm not sure you can, you can see it well. But that's an albino ball python. And this one's just like mine over here. It's a little hard to see. But he's a ball python as well. Up here is the big guy. Uh, he's probably really hungry. Uh, he's a red tailed boa. Really great guy and more ball pythons you can see they got good humidity this guy up here is shedding and then here you can see right there as a corn snake we are babysitting these for somebody she can be a little pissy when you go to first pick her up Me, her, she huffed and puffed, but once you get her up, she's usually fine, just like that. She becomes a puppy dog. But we are this her bedding is definitely gonna need to get changed out. It's a uh, something that is not of the liking. I'll have to do that in a little while. Uh, get her some new dry bedding because she kind of dumped her water. Uh, I could take a lid off of the big guy. Alright. And show you the big guy. One I'm not going to get out. He can be pissy at times. Uh, looks like he is feeling a little hungry. I'm just going to watch his head. He's usually nice with me. Um, I don't, I've don't. i only had an incident where he's tried biting me. Um, that's just because he was wrapped around our water supply in our bathroom. Otherwise, he's a generally cool guy. Now's a trip for Petco. Alright, so I totally blanked out on... I just forgot about having to record when I went to Petco. But I did get some stuff. They had their whole rally thing here. It has a fact about ball pythons that everybody should really know about it. I'm not going to go into detail. So I forgot all about it. Um, so I ended up pretty much just buying food and I bought a new tank for my Nile monitor. Uh, using a 55 gallon tank. Yes, he might be small, but... They do like wide open places to run and uh, he has it'd be more of an area for him to burrow around. Instead of having a very small enclosure where he can only pretty much just submerge himself underneath the substrate and just, I'd say he can't go nowhere. Whereas with this, he can go wherever he wants back and forth. 
and he has a put a big water dish in there for him um so he if he wants to submerge himself or get a drink whatever he wants to do but uh yeah i actually gotta feed my columbia rainbow bull she's the only one left that needs to attempt to be fed because my ball python and corn snake denied it um i guess they're not really hungry right now fine by me uh, we try a little later not today another day um i'm gonna show you guys my now monitor's cage and then i'll bring you along to feed my columbia rainbow ball so see you there in a snap so this is monster's cage i got a dog dish in there for water and it's a 55 gallon cage with a 150 watt bulb for a warm warm basking spot um, by his water dish i got set up a thermometer which shows 80 degrees uh for him which is not bad and i'm if we were to go more towards the basking area where he's kind of chilling a little bit where the most heat is coming down which is right in this area um it would probably show a good 90 to 100 degrees uh because it's a high wattage bulb he's on the run right now uh he's still trying to figure it out i'm gonna let him figure it out uh, he just ate so he's gonna do what he wants to do but yeah that's his setup we're gonna go prepare for the columbia rainbow bowl to eat and i'll show you guys that uh, she's currently feeding on fuzzies, so let's go to that. Alright, you can see her right there. And I got her meal right here. I might actually have to get her out so she thinks that it's uh, something for her to eat because she's backing off. So I'm going to do that real quick and pause this. Alright, now that we got her... Right there, we're going to attempt to feed her again. Looks like she picked up on the scent. I'm trying to keep her away from my hand here. There she goes. She's not gonna coil. She does. She knows that it's uh not alive, so she doesn't coil it, and she'd rather just sit and uh mow it down. She's very, very intelligent. She doesn't want to waste her time with a coil. She'd rather just go straight for it. So you can see she's gonna mow that down. Uh, it's a very long process because she's a little smaller. So I'm not going to show all of it, but see her get a good start on it. I'm sorry about the background noise. My dog decided to bar barge in. Open my door when the we have the AC going. Apparently he wants to say hi too and whatnot. Well, she's going to mow that down. I'm going to leave her alone and we're going to wrap this up. So we're going to wrap this up. My dog wanted to get in on this. He's an ass. Well, yeah, we're going to wrap this one up here. Um, I know it was not very much going on, but this is my Saturday, pretty much, if I'm not working. So glad I'm not working. But, yeah, I'm going to try and get back into making some videos. I'm going to get back into streaming, so I know I've lagged that for the past month as well. Um, I just, I, I guess I needed to find inspiration when I did. And, um, as you guys heard from probably the beginning of the video... Uh, I did find a little bit of motivation. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this. Uh, remember, motivation is the key to success, I guess. Or at least it's going to be a key to my success, being motivated, keeping on top of stuff, keeping on track. So, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, drop a thumbs up on this, like that button. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber helps for every viewer. Uh, and I bring out more and more content. I am going to try and continue to save up money to get an Elgato so I bring out uh, better quality content because 
uh, my phone isn't really cutting it a whole lot. So, yeah. Uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. And until next time, which will be very, very soon, I do promise that. I'm not going to go on another month's absent out of nowhere. Uh, so until next time, peace.